out here in uh, the first week of December in the Midwestern State Park. I can trail Friday and I can tell you it is dead quiet and dead calm. Temperature's about, well, it's in the upper 30s. And uh, it took me a while to uh, adjust to the notion of coming out in the cold and being alone, especially when all the trees are, have their leaves down. It's a bit stark. But uh, I've been on the trail a little while, stumbling along. <coughs> I'm starting to get the in the spirit of it. It's good to be out. Good to be out and hiking again. about an hour and a half and uh, here I'm in about three miles nice blade here we're coming up on some of the backpack camping sites. There are a couple nearby. But I'm going to bypass this one and the next one and one after that and keep going. Get a little deeper into the woods. This is going to be camp for the night. Obviously, a uh, a spot designated for camping, and uh, I can make fire. I can stay warm. Temperature is mm, probably uh, around 40 right now. Expected to drop to the low 30s tonight, so not too bad. Uh, shouldn't have any trouble finding wood. There's plenty of fallen wood. Hopefully some dry. Now setting up camp. Tense up. Well, there's been some discussion online about this saw viber, and uh, particularly its inability to cut straight uh, through wood or any material. And uh, I think in a previous video I indicated that I I found the secret to getting it to cut straight. Um, and uh, it's really just a simple matter of applying enough tension to the blade. Uh, there's only a certain amount that you can do by turning it by hand, but what I found was that if you'll just apply pressure to the frame so that you can press the frame and then turn the knob, let you turn it further, let you get more tension. And I'm able to make straight cuts through through the wood. I've made several cuts through thicker portions of this uh, branch, which is a part of a fallen branch. This part had been vertical, and so it's um, pretty dry, <coughs> quite dead, and pretty dry. But in any case, um, you can make perfectly straight cuts with this saw blade. I can't speak to how effective this particular blade design is. Others certainly know more about it than I. Um, but it does a good job. It lets you use both hands on the saw, which is handy. Um, it'll cut a, a long piece and cuts effectively on the push and the pull. Um, and with a tight enough blade, it cuts straight. So no complaints for me. So, 
see that. Well, that's a pretty good straight cut through the wood. Well, nighttime came early. It's uh, only about uh, quarter to six now. <clears throat> it's almost completely dark. I got the fire going uh, at about five o'clock and uh, it's raging now. It's been quiet, calm, just a slight little breeze will come through periodically. Fire is nice and warm. Cigar is delicious. Had a cup of nice hot coffee already. Decaf, of course. And uh, dinner of be coming up pretty soon. I've got a uh, a nice uh, gazpacho from uh, Packet Gourmet. Uh, really tasty stuff. And uh, rather than serving it as a traditional chilled. Spacho, I serve it hot, and uh, it's a really, really tasty and a fantastic meal on a cold night like this. Three thirty. Said to uh, answer nature's call. It's cold, but uh, I'm staying pretty warm, so I've slept in all of my clothes. And, uh, my back is sore. I'm ready for this night to be over. Oh, I just woke up. There's light. And it's about quarter to seven. Nope. The lens fogging up again. It's cold. I don't know how cold yet, but I'll find out. Slept warm in the the tent last night. And there was no breeze. There was no wind at all. I don't suspect it would have been quite so warm had it been windy because this tent is so thoroughly ventilated. I think I would be ventilated into freezing. But, um, I slept warm with all my clothes on in my 25 degree bag. Um, if I were going to do this again, then the temperatures were going to get even a little bit colder. And uh, if there was likely to be uh, even a little bit of wind, I think a colder weather bag would be called for. But last night was just fine. <clears throat> I gotta get some coffee. Trusty lighter. Ah, fire. Got a, a good little fire going. I don't intend to build much more of a fire than this this morning. So I'm gonna hike out soon. It's 7.30 now. Got my coffee. Hi ho. Well, I got my uh, granola for breakfast. And uh, Sitting by the fire, drinking my coffee. Here are my surroundings. It's beautiful.
beautiful morning. Unfortunately, there's been some uh, problems with the uh, with the bats in this area, and uh, so the forestry department is not allowing anybody to go into the caves. But, uh, it's back in there, but there's a spring right here, and it's a really pretty little spring, and. Uh, Feeds the stream down there. So I should have a good flow of water for the remainder of my hike along this stream. Here, higher in the bluff, you get a better view of the river down below. It's a cold, crisp morning. A bit lonely, but it's nice to be out. 